Hi class, in this lecture I want to do a real quick video talking about evaluating variable expressions and really what I want to do is I just want to give you two quick examples to show you how to evaluate these. Okay, so here's the first one. Suppose I give you the expression a times b minus b squared and this is where a is equal to 2 and b is equal to negative 3. So what I want you to do is I want you to evaluate this expression for this. So I want you to take these values plug them into the expression and simplify. Okay, so first off, wherever I see an a, I'm gonna replace it with a two. Wherever I see a b, I'm gonna replace it with a negative three. So it's gonna be two times negative three minus, and then in parentheses, I'm gonna replace the b with a negative three squared. So just follow now your order of operations. So we're gonna do the exponents first. So negative three squared is negative three times negative three, which gets me nine. You got to be careful not to cancel do, do this negative times a negative here because you got to do the exponents first. Now do multiplication next. So 2 times negative 3 gets me negative 6. And negative 6 minus 9, now do the subtraction, gets me minus 15. So all I did was plug the values in where I where to replace the variables with the values they gave us, and then I just followed the order of operations. All right, let's do uh, an application problem here. So the diameter of the base of a right circular cylinder here is 5 centimeters. The height of the cylinder is 8.5 centimeters. Find the volume of the cylinder, so the volume. So what you'll need here uh, is to find or look up the volume of a cylinder. And then what you're going to do is you're going to round to the nearest tenth. So remember that the base... Okay, the base here, which looks like a diameter, the base is 5 centimeters, and the height is 8.5 centimeters. All right, well, look, the volume, if you look it up, is equal to pi times the radius squared times the height. So if you look back, the base is 5 centimeters, so that's the diameter. So the first thing you're going to need to do is figure out the radius. So radius is equal to 1 half the diameter, which is 1 half times 5, which is 2.5, okay? Now, we're going to actually find the exact value, so we're going to use the pi key on your calculator to estimate the volume here. So volume is equal to pi, and then in parentheses, times 2 point, the radius squared, 2.5 squared, times the height, which is 8.5. So figure out what 2.5 is squared. So 2.5 squared gets me 6.25. So now just multiply it all across. Pi times 6.25 times 8.5 gets me a volume of roughly 1.669 when I round to one decimal point. So remember, volume is going to be centimeters squared times another centimeters, so it gets me centimeters cubed here. All right, class, I hope this quick video helped. And um, all you got to remember is when you're given the values, plug them into the expressions, and then um, evaluate using your order of operations agreement.